organizations have tapped into consulting firms, management consulting firms, design consulting firms, innovation consulting firms, technical consulting firms for many years in order to go beyond the expertise that resides within companies. Consulting companies typically have contributed to novel ideas and organizations in multiple ways. For one, consultants by definition also almost focus on learning from multiple clients and that creates a portfolio of best-of-breed approaches, best practices that the company simply might not know about. The other way in which consultants typically help is they uh, typically uh, accumulate certain insights on how to go about innovating, so-called innovation methodologies. So famous innovation consultancies like IDEO, Frog Design and such, they tend to have uh, a process and this process helps even for focused on internal company employees to bring out some of these novel ideas. And last but absolutely not least, consultants tend to engage at least to some degree in what could be called change management. They help organizations actually implement to some degree, or at least start implementing the ideas. Why do we need the firm? Why do we need consultants in this age? And that's a question we addressed in our research project to try to understand what is the limits of sort of digitally enabled organizing and what it is that a firm like a consulting firm can still provide. You have um, platforms like uh, Amazon Mechanical Turk or Crowdflower that provide you just the access to thousands and thousands of people willing to do basic tasks at very low costs with very clear solution criteria for what they need to do. And platforms like Innocentive.com, OpenIDO.com, Nine Sigma, and such, where you could post a very difficult R&D challenge or a, an open-ended social innovation challenge like helping women in impoverished countries to feel safe in the environment. The consulting industry from anything from management consulting, traditional sort of McKinsey's of this world, BCG's, down to innovation consultancies and design consultancies, absolutely in a situation that Christensen would call disruptive innovation, where the digitally enabled platform for hiring consultants, even technology consultancies. We now have Elance and Odesk, where you can hire technology consultancies for very small cost and without the overhead of the, the firm would charge you. So the, the industry is undergoing uh, what could be properly term disruptive innovation and what consultancies do with it is really a, a key question. For years, for many of them, it, the value add was generating ideas. In today's day and age, the premium you could charge for just generating ideas is small. Nowadays, in order to get breadth, you go online. So consultancies have to figure out what else they add. And it's usually around being either receptive to the ideas or evaluating these ideas or changing your whole organization. What's something uh, that this company should think about or when they engage with this is they, of course, are examining their business models in terms of what is their value add. So what I think will be happening is that they need to be moving towards what is my value add in making ideas impact companies' businesses, which basically would mean either partnering or developing change management capabilities, because that's where all the ideas die. So unless they can do something to really help companies evaluate the ideas, adapt the ideas, analyze the solution, decide whether to invest in them, I don't think their value is as large. And it doesn't mean that every single company out there in consultancy should become you know, change management agent, but they should figure out how they fit into a spectrum from idea generation to actual solution implementation and where their value add is, because it cannot be just in generating ideas. That business is gone.